South Africa, close to the Fall River. Early in the morning, these initiation students practice traditional chants. It is a highly secretive process. We are lucky. Out of 20 students, these five and their teacher are willing to talk. They perform a cleansing ritual in the river every morning. These schools are infamous for their allegedly brutal methods, but this young initiate shows no signs of fear. Some guys are scared, but that's only because other people exaggerate things. So, some have this fear. But because this is our culture, I fear nothing. I feel like most of the boys here have to go through it. The traditional Tlosa, Ndebele and Pede ethnic groups believe a boy can only become a man if he goes through the rites of passage, like chanting, stick fighting and hunting. The rite of passage culminates with the circumcision of the students, performed in an open field by a traditional healer. While only a minority of the schools are accused of mistreating their students, many push questionable ideas about masculinity. Because once you come from this place, you cannot cry. It's, it's like a, if someone you love have passed away or even if you feel pain, it's like here we're transforming like tending a little bit to be a soldier. Attitudes like this made this young man's experience all the more painful. At the age of 18, Olani, a Corsa, was sent by his father to an initiation school. As soon as he arrived, he and his cousin were subjected to daily beatings. But Olani's cousin was a proud young man and defied the humiliations. So he was often taken aside and punished repeatedly with further beatings. One evening, the elders took him away once again to teach him a lesson. This time, he never returned. My cousin never came back because he was a fighter. You know, he was one person that could stand up for himself. So I felt like they beat him to a point whereby they killed him. And when they realized that they had gone too far, then they just came back and then acted like nothing happened. The initiation schools aren't registered or monitored. Much like female genital mutilation, initiates can also die as a result of botched circumcisions, traditionally known as ulwaluko, or lose one's manhood forever. When Kolani asked about the whereabouts of his cousin, one of the elders threatened him with the same fate. Kolani knew then that he had to flee. For me, I had to choose in terms of hurting my mother and my father by being a deserter or hurting my mother and my father by being dead. So I actually sat and, and thought, which one is best? Olani opted for life. That night, he ran away and never returned. But his decision brought disgrace on his family and he's too scared to go back to his community. Today, years after the ordeal, he still lives far from his village and has no contact with his parents. I've been in a lot of fights. I've actually, I actually have scars, you know, even this one. Like, you, you constantly have to prove yourself as a man. And I don't think that will end until I get that confirmation from my father. Having an open discussion about the point of initiation rights is almost impossible because the young men are not supposed to talk about their experiences. Many who are traumatized carry it with them for the rest of their lives.